So today I thought I'd talk a little bit about RISD, um, what you can expect when you go there or just for anyone kind of wondering about the school or what the experience is like. Um, I got one single comment <laughs> in one of my videos where someone asked for like a Q&A about RISD. Um, and I don't have enough followers to actually do a Q&A, so I decided to just talk a little bit about RISD instead. It's been like almost two years since I've graduated, or no, it's been like one and a half years since I've graduated. So yeah, I am, you know, I'm older now. Um, I don't really remember like my freshman year as much, but I'm gonna do my best to um, like explain how things go down and what I, what I do remember. I remember being kind of intimidated, like looking on the RISD freshman page before I even entered school because everyone was posting their art. And I was like, oh my God, everyone's so freaking good. <laughs> like, how did I get in? And I had this kind of um, freak out moment. Just know that like everyone's there learning, everyone's kind of on the same page. So how freshman year goes down is basically you are split into sections. Um, so this is, I think like, 12 or 15 or I forget how many but you're like paired with a group of students and you all take the same classes together um, and I think so you have two different sections one for the first semester one for the second semester this is kind of a nice way to be around the same people for a whole semester um, I'm very socially awkward so I don't think I actually like stayed in touch with any people maybe like one one person from um, my sections, but yeah, I didn't end up making like lasting uh, friendship style of the sections, but freshman year obviously you're like meeting so many people um, and I, I feel like that was pretty fun, but don't expect to like make super close friends right away because I mean that didn't really happen for me um, and I kind of wanted that to happen, but just know that it, it's okay and you still have like the years afterwards. I can't really remember if they like taught us how to critique or not. I think they probably did, but I kind of forgot that. Um, but yeah, basically what will happen is on the day of critique, everyone will put their art up and then you'll kind of go around the room and look at each person's art. And you'll spend like a good, a good amount of time on each person's art. Um, and the studio classes are very long. They're, how long are they in freshman year? <laughs> I know there are like at least five hours. I would say for me it was really helpful to like have an honest critique of my art. I don't really like going in and then just having everyone like compliment you. I think RISD had the, has this reputation for having like very um, intense and intense critiques where they kind of like break you down but that really doesn't happen like maybe some there might be like some few teachers that everyone knows is like ooh, are you in their class? Like, they're so tough or something. But, um, like, I found critiques to be quite chill. One more thing about freshman year is that I found the projects to be really random, I guess. I just felt like the skills I was using maybe wouldn't be applicable, especially now since I'm doing film. I mean, I didn't know that at the time, but they just didn't really seem that applicable. Like, we were making these plaster molds or, like, I made this lighting lighting sculpture um, out of like paper. Basically RISD just wants you to kind of like expand your creative mind and use materials you probably wouldn't have and like you know just get get used to thinking in ways that's a little bit challenging. Another note on freshman year, I basically just stayed on campus or really like in the freshman quad and I feel like a lot of people do that, they just stayed there and that's because you just have so much work, like you have really long studios and then you come home and you have to do your homework. And there is um, the Met which is like the cafeteria which is like where everyone goes, <laughs> especially when you're freshman, freshmen kind of like dominate the Met and the Met is all you can eat, it's like you go in there, eat a lot of food and eat dessert, that's something to look forward to. But yeah, in freshman year I really did not explore Providence at all. Um, so I would say like in your later years you should really go explore. There's a lot of like nice kind of naturey spots um, to go walk around. Um, actually, yeah, maybe I'll put like an image or like a map or something here of places that I think you should go. Another point on getting off of campus is I really recommend spending some time at Brown. I just found like the vibe there to be really, like it was a nice break from um, art school because it's like, you know, an Ivy League college. So I liked walking around the campus and just like experiencing that different kind of 
uh, life, which I'm sure I was just like, you know, an outsider looking in, but it was still kind of nice. So I recommend if you want to, you could take a class there, which is a nice way to meet some people. Um, I also went on some Tinder dates there, which was, which was fun. Um, I feel like you just, well, there's more boys there uh, in general. I feel like there's quite a big difference between like freshman year and the rest of your three years at RISD just because in sophomore year you choose a major and then that kind of like defines your experience. Um, you know, the majors aren't like too big, um, especially mine, I was in film and animation. That was pretty small and I was kind of with like the same people. Um, so that mostly like defines your experience. And then each major, you know, they have like different projects, different like final, final projects. Um, so for me in senior year, we had the whole year to like make our own film, which was really exciting. I would say that's something I wish I had done more of is like think ahead to after graduation. I feel like some of the work I made, it was good in like RISD standards, I guess, or it was like you could show it to your classmates and, and they would understand it. But I think like if I showed it to outsiders, um, they'd be like, Ooh, what the fuck is this? <laughs> so. I would say like I wish I had made more work thinking a little bit more about like how others not at RISD would see it like especially potential employers because um, some of the stuff like I don't think it looked very professional. I think that's just like my bad and it's also something I don't know if RISD like really pushes because you know they want you to explore all of the like conceptual work you know sometimes it's it's more up to you to like get more technical or just get more like professional looking with it. So I recommend that you do that. Lastly, I guess I'll t talk more about the social aspect. So I'm probably a bad person to talk about this because as I said, I'm very um, socially inept. <laughs> so I actually like never went to parties or anything. Um, I know they have like warehouse parties or I'm sure something goes on, but uh, I didn't really do any of that. I think sometimes it's a little hard since like everyone is really focused on their work. At least my friends were, you know, um, the expectation was you, you should just be working um, or putting a lot of effort into your work, which I really appreciated, but um, that also means that like sometimes I felt bad like reaching out and wanting to hang out with people because I was like, oh, but I'm like distracting them from their work. Um, but I think for me, like the social aspect, um, I was able to find closer friends and feel more at home um, in the later years, I guess like junior and senior year mostly. Um, yeah. Oh, also winter session. It's this like in between semester between um, fall and spring. And <clears throat> you basically only have to take one class or two classes and it's mandatory, but that's actually a really great time to like hang out with people more because people are more free. I wasn't worried about like bothering them so much. Um, and it's also a nice way to meet some new people that are not like just in your major um, because basically what it is is the semester you can take any elective. Um, so you're not just staying in your major, you can take any, any class that's offered. Yeah, so overall um, I would say that I really enjoyed my experience at RISD. Um, I think probably for anyone who is like very passionate about their art and wants to be surrounded by other like really hardworking, um, passionate people, like this is a good place for you. Um, and I just felt like I was really excited by my classes there, like the things I was learning. So I guess this was a little bit less technical, like what classes you will have and everything like that, which I think is easier to find just like if you go on Rizzi's website, this was more my experience, my impressions of the school. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if it was all over the place. Definitely feel free to like leave questions, um, comments or whatever down below and I will try my best to answer them. I feel like quite unqualified to speak about RISD because I feel like I was just such a small part there. So I don't want to like make too many videos giving my advice or um, but definitely if you have a question, I will try and answer it. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in another video. Who knows what it'll be? <laughs> we will see. Bye.